All right, we live. Huh? All right. Shalom. This is the brothers from GMS Louisiana Saints, the New Orleans camp with another live lesson. But before we get started, as always, we give all praise and glory and infinite honors to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule and teach well, and peace and salutations to you, sincere Akim, out there pushing this word and truth and sincerity to the four corners of the globe. May you brothers endure until the end. And we're just going to start it off in Revelation chapter 17, verses 1 to 2. This Revelation chapter 17 verse 1 and there came one of the seven angels which had the seven vows and talked with me saying unto me come hither I will show unto thee the judgment of the great whore that sitteth upon many waters and that great whore is of course Babylon the great mystery Babylon the virgin daughter of Babylon the United States of America and that many waters is symbolic of people Hey, in America alone, you've got all these different nations living here. And right now, the United States of America is the is uh, the top political and economic and military power on the planet right now with their military having garrisons all across the planet and the uh, the U.S. dollar being the world reserve currency. But hey, we're living in the in the last seconds of the rulership of this great horse. So that power structure is quickly slipping from our fingers. Keep going out. It says, with whom the kings of the earth have committed fornication and the inhabitants of the earth have been made drunk with the wine of her fornication. And that wine of her fornication that they've been made drunk with is the different philosophies that this whore America has been pushing out. Hey, democracy, feminism, the alphabet agenda beginning with LG, capitalism, all that filth from Hollywood and social media it's military adventurisms, the list goes on and on. And in this video, in this lesson, we're gonna get into an article on RT.com showing that, hey, the people of this planet are getting sick of this whore and what it's ultimately gonna culminate in is them shooting 200 million nuclear missiles onto this place, completely wiping it from the face of the earth. And as you can see from the title of that article, it reads, world sees US as significantly greater threat to democracy than Russia and China. Survey says, and I could you get me a Jeremiah 51 verse 7, Baba Kasha? Okay, there's Jeremiah 51 and 7. Babylon have been a golden cup in the most high's hand that all that made all the earth drunken. The nations have drunken of her wine, therefore the nations are mad. And again, that, that wine is these different philosophies that uh, this whore Babylon, the United States, has been pushing on to these nations. And that's what we'll see in this article. Hey, the nations have become drunken off of it and mad, mad by uh, their countries following after these philosophies and seeing their people get bugged out and mad seeing their people getting bugged out, which is, uh, again, ultimately going to lead to them shooting those nuclear missiles onto this place when the time ultimately comes. But uh, we'll get into that article now. If I, if I read it, or... well, yeah, the article reads, a poll taken in 53 countries has found that 44% of people around the world consider the United States to be a threat to their democracy, significantly less than those who believe the same about China and Russia. Hey, back in Jeremiah 51, verse 7, the nations have become drunk off of her wine, therefore the nations are mad. Hey, um, besides even more than China and Russia, the, uh, the United States is seen by 53 countries as a threat to their democracy and their way of life. Continuing, out of the 53,000 people polled across 53 countries, more residents, more respondents, 44% considered U.S. influence on their country to be a threat to democracy than those who didn't, 26%. Meanwhile, only 38% consider Chinese influence a threat to democracy. Fear of Russian influence was the lowest of the three, with only 28% considering Russia to be a threat to their democracy. I mean, what's funny, in, a, in the mainstream media in the United States, who are they always pushing as the main enemies to a democracy and a freedom in the world? 
Russia and China. As we can clearly see from this poll, that's not the case. Many more people see the United States of America that whore Babylon as a threat to their democracy and way of life. Asian countries were high among those that feared US influence with Pakistan fearing Washington the most. Japanese respondents also consider the US to be a greater concern than China, while Mexico, Canada, Colombia, Greece, Israel, Australia, Ukraine, and Switzerland were also among the top half. The survey was conducted by Latana in partnership with the Alliance of Democracies, which was founded in Denmark by former NATO Secretary General Anders Foe Rasmussen. A detail some on social media found interesting given that the results inconveniently showed higher levels of fear regarding the U.S. than Russia and China. And this is what uh, Ben Norton had to say on his Twitter page. Hilarious. A U.S. government-funded organization founded by NATO to spread free markets did a poll in 53 mostly rich countries, and it found that 44% of respondents see the USA as a threat compared to 38% for China and 28% for Russia. While people in European countries express lower levels of fear when it comes to U.S. influence, they still express more fear about it than they did from Moscow and Beijing. So hey, even uh, the U.S.'s own allies are seeing them as a as a as a as a potentially bigger threat than uh, Russia and China. And if you've been noticing, a lot of these European Edomite countries have been moving more towards the east trying to do more business deals with Russia and uh, China. But then you've got the U.S. meddling in their affairs, which is just further lead to those, uh, those very close allies of the U.S. turning against her. So, hey, we're just going to get into some uh, further prophecies to show that uh, not only are the nations dr uh, have been made drunken by the waves of the United States, but they become mad at this whore, and they're ultimately going to eat her flesh and burn her with that fire. Could somebody go back and get me a Jeremiah 51, verse 1, Baba Kasha? All right, this is Jeremiah 51 and 1. Thus said the Most High, Behold, I will rise up against Babylon. So like a raise up against Babylon. And against them that dwell in the midst of them, that rise up against me, a destroying wind. Kind of, we know that that destroying wind it's going to be those nuclear-tipped ICBMs that are going to hit this place. Keep going, out. And will send unto Babylon fanners that shall fan her and shall empty her land. For in the day of trouble, they shall be against her round about. And uh, those that are going to be against her round about are not only the, the enemies of the United States of America, but also their own allies in that day who are all together going to turn against her and uh, and take her by that destroying wind. Let me see. Got, keep reading that. Okay. Against him that beneath, let the archer bend his bow. And against him that lifted himself up and his brigadine, and spare ye not her young men, destroy ye utterly all her host. And those 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 archers and those bows and arrows are symbolic for those nuclear missiles. And it said, "Spare ye not her young men, and destroy ye utterly all her hosts." Hey, anybody in this country that is not of the elect of the nation of Israel, the hundred and forty-four thousand and the rest of the righteous one third is going to be caught up in this nuclear fire, and, and it's just going to be the fat to the fuel of the fire when those two hundred million missiles hit this place. Now, could somebody give me a Jeremiah 50, verse 9, Baba Kasha? And then somebody hold me to Revelation 17, verse 15. This um, Jeremiah, verse 50, chapter 50, verse 9. For lo, I will raise and cause to come up against Babylon an assembly of great nations from the north country. Stop it at. And uh, that north country is Russia. And we went into this precept this past Saturday at camp. The reason Russia is known as that North country is because what's north of Canada, what's north of the United States of America and Canada, you've got that Arctic Ocean region and then Russia. 
and Russia shooting its nuclear missiles across the Arctic and from the Arctic to hit its targets in the U.S. is the shortest trajectory time for its missiles to reach the U.S. And hey, over the past couple of years, there's been a lot of news coming out showing that Russia's been building back up its military uh, assets and the uh, arsenal up in that Arctic Ocean region. Hey, ultimately for the for this battle for for this North country to take this whore, and that assembly of great nations is not only the the enemies of the U.S., which is Russia, China, Iran, and North Korea, but also the allies of the U.S., which are going to turn against her in that day, like uh, Britain, France, Germany. Hey, uh, huh. Real quick, you you done with that uh that screen so I can change it back? Uh. I'm going a, I'm to a reread that last paragraph real quick, and then you got it. Okay. But yeah, not only are the allies, of the, not only the enemies of the U.S. going to turn against her in that day, but her allies as well, these, these European Edomite nations, these NATO nations, you name it. And like it said in the last uh, paragraph of this article, while people in European countries express lower levels of fear when it comes to U.S. influence, they still express more fear about it than they did about influence from Moscow, that North country, or Beijing. So ultimately those, those allies of the US are gonna turn against her and ally themselves with that North country to shoot those nuclear missiles. As it says in uh, Revelation 17, verse 16. Revelation 17, 16. <clears throat> I'm there. Yeah, all right, okay. It says, and the 10 horns, which thou sawed upon the beast, which is Revelation 17 and 16, and the 10 horns which thou sawest <clears throat> upon the beast, these shall hate the whore and shall make her desolate and naked and shall eat her flesh and burn her with fire. And the 10 horns are referring to the EU or the European Union, beginning with the, the first 10 common markets back when it was known as uh, the European Economic Community. And of course it's grown since then. And the, and the beast, that the horns were upon is NATO, which, uh, as it, as it said in a uh, Ben Norton's Twitter post, that this was a NATO-funded uh, poll to see how countries felt about the U.S. And you saw a lot of countries had negative uh, disposition towards the U.S. and saw it as more of a threat to its democracy and way of life than uh, Russia or China. And of course, that whore that sit upon the beast is the United States of America. And then, and as it says, and they shall hate the whore and shall make her desolate and naked and shall eat her flesh and burn her with that fire, that nuclear fire from that combined 200 million nuclear missiles that's going to hit this place. You still got Jeremiah 50 verse 9 out? Yeah. This Jeremiah 50 verse 9, it says, And they shall set themselves in a rate against her. From thence she shall be taken, a shall be as of a mighty expert man, none shall return in vain. And again, of course, those arrows are those nuclear missiles, and it said, they shall be set against her, and uh, from then she shall be taken, and those arrows shall be as of a mighty expert man, and none shall return in vain. And all those 200 million nuclear missiles are going to hit this place, because when you go into Joel chapter 2, it says that uh, the, the missiles, which they refer to as mighty men, are neither going to thrust one another or break their ranks. That's because the spirit of the Most High is going to be on these missiles to hit their targets without a hit. And it also says that uh, when they fall upon the sword, they shall not be wounded. And that sword is symbolic for these anti-missile defense systems, which are also going to fail in that day because the spirit of the Most High is going to be on them to fail. Hey, that's, hey, I, I want to say something real quick because that's what Samaya went into when it goes into the scripture. I don't know if you're still holding it about the brigadine. The brigadine uh -huh. goes for it goes into uh you know shielded armor. And that's the uh missile defense system that America uh has, which is gonna fail, man, like the brother went into. Especially when two hundred million missiles, you you can have all the defense system you want, but when two hundred million missiles flying and warheads are flying, you ain't gonna be able to do a damn thing about it, man. <clears throat> but we know I'm too, right. we know too that America also has a has a, a program going back into the late uh, 60s, 50s and 60s called MAD, Mutual uh, Assured Destruction, man. All right, which means 
when a when a when a nation shoots missiles on a, on America, America automatically has a program set in to their their warhead systems to where they're gonna shoot missiles off too. So they're gonna have other different parts of the world that are gonna be destroyed too with missiles, man. But the whole world is not gonna be destroyed. Um, but I will say this: these nations of the earth, these armies of the earth, gonna get it, get it on so so much to the scripture said the earth's gonna reel to and fro like a drunkard. So imagine this 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 globe, man. In the middle of space, this rocket, man, because of the missiles that's being detonated on it, man. They'll be getting it on. You got it out. Con, con. And hey, that's a that's a day, that's a day we are we are uh, uh, quickly and we are quick we're hoping happens as quick as possible because just look at this place. Hey, the men of the Lord are sick of Babylon the Great. And as we can see from this article, hey, the nations of this world are sick of Babylon the Great because this country pushes nothing but but wickedness and folly, and the people are just waxing worse with each passing day. Them them getting put to death on this side is honestly well, America as a whole getting taken down is is the best thing that could possibly happen to this planet. There, there's nothing left in this place. Hey, early, earlier today, I was out uh, I was out doing uh, some, some chores, some running some errands. And Joe Biden just happened to be rolling down the street, and it was just it was just nothing but folly and madness there. You had a bunch of Jakes cooning for Joe Biden, and you had bugged out Edomites against Joe Biden. But it was all just folly and madness because the the, the Republicans and the Democrats ain't going to do anything for anybody. It's all just smoke and mirrors. There's just nothing left in this place. The thrill is gone. Yeah. Hey man, money back, Joe. Money bag Joe came right across from the brother house, man. Mm -hmm. <laughs> True. Money yeah. bag Joe is right, right, right across the street, man. You can you can literally be on the brother street and look at him across the street talking on a on a on a on a uh, stage, man. The whole ball eagle shit he had going on and everything, man. <laughs> you know, hey, I, fucking devil. Hey, yeah, I saw, uh, hey, I saw I saw his his devil ass. Like when the car was turning, I saw the silhouette of his old head. Shaking his hand, waving his hand at, at these coon two thirds out here. Come on, damn of course. It's just con, and Come it was on. just, it was just, it was just sickening to the core. It's it just yeah. sick seeing our people finish and just seeing, seeing how finished this this whore's made people off of her her wines or for her philosophies. So that's going to be one of the the greatest days in the history of mankind when those two hundred million nuclear missiles hit this place. Because then the kingdom of heaven is going to be established afterwards. I got a precept I got too. I, was I got something too. Come, come. I got a precept real fast. This is Obadiah one and seven. All the men of that confederacy. All right, and you can go back to Psalms eighty three. All right, those different nations that were confederate confederate with Esau. All right, and many more other uh, scriptures that can prove you know prove that it says all the men of that confederacy have brought thee even to the border. All right. The men that were at peace with thee have deceived thee. That's what that article going into too, man. And, and prevailed against thee. They that eat thy bread, all right, have laid a wound under thee. There is none understanding in him. Con. And of course, uh, someone's confederacy are their allies. And as we've been going through these precepts, hey, the allies of the United States of America are going to turn against him that day and ally themselves with the enemies of America, which as we saw from this article, these nations see them as less of a threat to so-called democracy and their way of life than this whore, the United States of America. And where it says they they were at peace with thee and they have deceived thee and prevailed against thee. Going back to this article, it said, while the people in European countries express lower levels of fear when it comes to US influence, it says they express lower levels of fear. But as we're seeing here, that's them being uh, deceitfully peaceful to America. Hey, when the, and when the time comes, they're going to lay that wound under her and, and, and wound her with those nuclear-tipped arrows, those ICBMs. I got you something. Um, yeah, same here. This uh, Isaiah 24 and 7, it says, The new wine mourneth, the vine languish it, and the merry hearted do sigh. The mirth of the taber cease it. The noise of them that rejoice end it. The joy of the harp cease it. Which, you know, the point was that new wine morning. 
John, you, you can break it down. Like, I got one. You want me to get it? Earlier too. Yeah, that that new wine is them that that philosophy, man. That she bought to the earth, which is the whore that set it upon many water, man. That had the people what drunken with their what her what her doctrines, man, and philosophies, man. The people are mad. They they see through her. All right, her her deception is not working no more. And guess what? They gonna get at the. They gonna get at the 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 nation's gonna get it on, man. All right, prior to our law coming in. Pursuant to um second address, man. The nation's gonna be getting it on. All right, it says uh <clears throat> they shall not drink wine with a stone. Baba Gesha, huh? could you reread verse eight out? Yeah, it says the mirth of the taber season, the noise of them that rejoice it ended, the joy of the harp season. And hey, you can clearly see that the, the thrill is gone in the United States of America. Hey, even before these lockdowns happened, th this country was in a recession, and, and those lockdowns only speeded it up. And now you've got uh, a lot of people losing their jobs and losing their businesses and having to rely on the government. And you've also seen an uptick in, in, in substance abuses, liquor, drugs, uh, you name it, and also an uh, uptick in suicidal thoughts and people wanting to kill themselves. So the people, people can really see can really see that there's, there's really no 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 future left in this country. That's why you've got such a divide between these different groups of people in this country, but like the Republicans and the Democrats, um, et cetera, et cetera. And then all these issues are going to be exacerbated when, when these uh, food shortages come, hyperinflation hits, water and short water shortages hit, gas shortages, you name it. It says. They hey, shall I'm not. Gonna, I'm gonna say this too. It's gonna be a, a scorching hot summer, and I ain't talking about temperature wise. <laughs> I'm talking about when, when, mm -hmm. when shit get. It's gonna get real in the summer, man. All right, because that's when everybody is home. All right, away from school. A lot of resources gonna be used. A lot of groceries and gas and shit. And what's gonna happen when it when it's not there for the for the use? You know, the birds already went into. Different birds already went into how they got gas shortages. They got so-called them them chicken wings you niggas love to have. Wrap your lips around. They go, it's short. That's mm -hmm. a short. Chicken right? shortage. It's, it's many other shortages that's going to take place. All right, we're going to bring this place to the to the to the breaking point. But you got it. Right? Inflation. Uh, inflation is out here heavy too. Ah. Huh? Yeah, that's another thing. Yeah, when you go into the Walmart and your you know your local stores, uh, we bought. And, it, and and these brothers are my witnesses on the phone. We was out eating, and uh, we bought. I bought two body armors, and I think with a Twix or something like that, All give right, or take. Right. And it was ten dollars, man. Mm -hmm. No, no, it was ten dollars. Yeah, I just I just walked in the store probably today or yesterday. I seen some shit I wanted. That shit was how I walked out. That <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bro. I went to Wal uh, Walgreens and got like four items, Ock, and it was almost thirty dollars, man. No, no, mm. I'm talking about. I wouldn't buy high shit either, man. It was yeah. like four items. Can't recall is almost thirty dollars, man. Now I already see Jake on that bullshit. Jake is literally. You go to the gas station. You literally watch Jake mannerism. Jake trying to make a decision whether he can either pump gas or eat food, man. Yeah, you know, mm -hmm. he gonna put them four dollars in that goddamn in that Buick, man. Yep. Hoping to make it for the rest of the week. You ain't gonna yes. make it, Jake. <laughs> gas, <laughs> gas steady rising too. Just look at the numbers on the gas. It said they shall not drink wine with a song. Yeah, because because hey, the you know you look at that from spiritually. Should not drink wine with a song because Jake. When Jake do you know. Get with his philosophy. Jake gets into it, man. All right, he have the pleasure in it. It ain't gonna be no more pleasure mixed with that wine. Now that strong drink, which was mingled unto him, have became what a, a, a curse unto him, man. All right, it's a plague unto him now from following the, these doctrines, man. It says strong and drink shall be bitter to them that drink it. So if I can say real quick, hey, yep. Hey, back back in verse three. Hey, that that mirth of the tempered ceasing. And the noise of, of them that rejoiceth ending and the joy of the heart ceasing hey, is not just for these people in the U.S. As we can clearly see again from this article, hey, the joy and, and the mirth is ceasing from this entire planet. 
and they're all looking at the United States of America as one of the major causes for all the, the conflict and the issues in the planet. And like we've been going through in the video, that's ultimately going to culminate in those, those nuclear missiles hitting this place. Yeah, she getting blamed. You know, that's why I say rejoice, she heavens, man. Like, she's going to get blamed for everything on the earth. Everybody going to start pointing back to her. Like, everybody, which all the nations are. They all pointing like it's America fault. The sanctions, the, the, the you know, the cryptocurrency, the, the, the India, the you know, the surges, is in, the surges of COVID cases in India. It's just like everything is pointing back to the whole, man. All right, and when all the fingers is on you, then obviously it's you. It got to be you. Who else can it be? It says right. the city of confusion is broken down. Every house is shut up that no man may come in. There's and a crime for wine in the street. Oh, good, so like it. Oh, kind, kind. Of. And what does Babylon mean? Confusion. And we yeah. can clearly see that the city of confusion is breaking down economically, morally, and spiritually. Hey, with them talking about these lockdowns being lifted, there, there is going to be no, no, uh, no, no, make America great again. The only new normal is going to be America collapsing more and more until this, until the city of confusion is completely broken down by those nuclear tipped arrows. Yeah, every house is shut up. That no man may come in. Yeah, the cities are shut down. All right, the cities inside of her are shut down. The, all right, they gave the people a little breathing room or we going to lift the lift the mandate. But when you go in Walmart, you still see our people with the masses on, man. All right, on different places. They lift, they did a, you know, a statewide with, with restrictions. All right, saying basically look, the children that go to school, hospitals, and, and, and certain stores, you still got to wear masses, man. But though yet the, the mandate been lifted. It says huh. that no man may come in. There's a crime for wine in the streets, and that's not talking about the bottle, man. All right, that wine that you put to your, to your, you know, your top, Jake, and, and it's and it's as life to a man. All right, this is all talking about that spiritual wine, man. All right, there's a crime for wine in the streets, which is what? All right, all joy is darkened. The mirth of the land is gone. And if I could say, with that crime for wine in the streets. We can clearly see that that people aren't going to the the mainstream media for answers anymore. That's why yeah. you're seeing an uptick in alternative media sources on YouTube and these other platforms getting a lot of traffic. Hence, why you've heard about talks of fake news and the need to for censorship because hey, the elites and the higher ups in the United States are losing the narrative. People are waking up from the stupor that this wine has put them in, and they're mad. Not just in the U.S. but globally. Again, as we can see from this article. Yeah, it says in the city, in the city is left desolation and the gate is smitten with destruction. <laughs> That's hey, it, I. Them, them, them nuclear tip ICBMs that are going to hit this whore and, and penetrate her. I got a preset mm -hmm. for you, too. Kind, kind. And could somebody hold me uh, Isaiah 13, start at verse 17? Come on. You got it, Samakia. All right, it is uh, Jeremiah 50 and, 50 and 13. Because of the wrath of the Most High, it shall not be inhabited, but it shall be wholly desolate. Everyone that goeth by Babylon shall be astonished and hiss at all her plagues. Hey, and as we're going to further get to in that Isaiah 13, after these nuclear missiles hit this place, it's going to become an a uninhabitable desolate wasteland where only desert creatures are going to dwell it, no man after these after the after the dust settles from this nuclear destruction no man woman or child will ever set foot on this uh on this wasteland this forbidden zone ever again kind of like i had two and all the nations once they see babylon aka america go down and they're going to say, damn, whatever they did, we don't want to do what happened to them. You know, <laughs> they're going to like that's that's how you really F up, you know, and that's going to be the standard sit, you know, in the straight fear and all the heathens minds to know whatever America done. Don't do what they did. If so, you're going to get that type of judgment. Con, it's going to stand as an eternal memorial as to what the brother mm -hmm. said, what a wicked kingdom looked like and how not to govern the earth. 
And ultimately, because people in that day are going to know who the true children of Israel are, who the Edomites are, and that the United States of America was Babylon, they're going to see what the judgment was for afflicting the apple of the Most High's eye, the children of Israel. Just look at just look at the account of ancient Egypt. Even people that aren't religious know of the Exodus story and know of the plagues and, and the mm -hmm. destruction that came to Egypt for going against the children of Israel. So how much more in this modern day spiritual Egypt, the, the fulfillment and culmination of all wickedness that's ever been on the on the face of the earth. Yeah, this is the you looking at the the upstart of the burden of Babylon, man. You see it. We see the scriptures jumping off the page. The prophecies, uh, you know, spreading their wings over this place, man. You could clearly see it. All right, mm -hmm. real quick one. I got that mm -hmm. Isaiah 13 and 17 for you real quick. Mm -hmm. uh, Lamentations 4 and 21. It says, rejoice and be glad, O daughter of Edom, that dwellest in the land of us. The cup also shall pass through unto thee. Thou shalt be drunken and shall make thyself naked. Khan, hey, and that cup, that cup that the nation of Israel had to drink for the longest time, hey, the, 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 the curses and the plagues and looked at as the astonishment and the scum of the earth is finally getting passed on to these Edomites, not just in Babylon the Great, but in these, Euro these Edomite countries worldwide, hey, calamities are happening to them. Their economies are, are, are starting to collapse. You can you can just go to any uh go to a, a really good YouTube page to go to is Rupley to see that damn near every day there are riots going on all across Europe over a variety of issues. People against. I want to say this too, uh, not to cut y'all. Yeah, a lot of a lot of a lot of shit didn't bust out over there in Colombia, man. You know they tear Colombia mm -hmm. up, and and the, and, the, and the soldiers and the, the soldiers and the citizens are going that war. They they're not shooting rubber bullets, man. They're not throwing rocks. They're shooting that lead, man. They put they putting that they putting that uh that they pulling that peacemaker out and putting motherfuckers to sleep. All right. And we tell you that all the time over here. Over in the mother countries, they throw rocks and bricks and all the type of other shit. When shit spark all over here from, from coast to coast, they're gonna be throwing lead out here, man. All right. So um, you know, you better get your mind uh centered around that, centered around seeing people people devoured, man. All right, from being shot, uh, stabbed, whatever, man, torn in pieces, blown in pieces. Because, like I said, we always tell you, man, you people, you people in America, you know, a lot of you, a lot of the people in America, they watch NBC, CNN, and these different various news with hold back. They hold back showing you the uh, the nastiness of the world, man. When I say the nastiness, I'm talking about dead bodies and shit. They blur it out. They go to a commercial. They come back and they block the scenes and shit. Well, when you watch, when you when you watch uh Telemundo and uh El Tazira and shit, they show you they show you the, 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 the people mangled and twisted, man. All right. They don't they don't they don't throw up when they see people uh uh blown to pieces and shit. But you people over here in America, you so soft, you so you so docile and so ignorant to the world that when you see those things, you throw up. You you all you all weak and feeble. I I didn't see men throw up, man. A dude whole half his face is ripped off, man. No, no more eyes and shit. You got a grown, you got a you got a guy talk all that hell of a shit, man. When he see it, he he he's weak. You know, you people finna get a, a, a rude awakening. That's all I'm gonna say. You're gonna get a rude awakening to what the what the Lord finna put out here on the, on the streets of America and really around the world. Ain't no way to hide. You can get your ass on a plane and try to run all you want. It's gonna break out all around the world, man. Until until mm -hmm. the to the great king come back. All right, you got it. Out. Hey, that's why America was called the what? The ends of the earth. Because what happened was the people are here from reality over here, man. With what? Deception, uh, television, you know, uh, uh bread and circus. All right. Reality is hitting over here. That's why in those other countries, it's reality, man. You don't work for the military, you don't eat. Life is real, man. All right, you know, like you say over here, Jake is full of that that Babylon juice, man, and can't concentrate, man. All right, without <laughs> without no cutting it, man. All raw Babylon juice is with Jake drinking over here. But the majority mm -hmm. of the people, all the people over here, because it's all confusion. All right, all 
nations of people are here, man, and it's all mixed in wickedness. All right, but with the mass being you Israelites, all right, because that's all who the, the the call is for. All right, y'all, y'all, like y'all are y'all are real reality reality list. All right, without <laughs> without <laughs> no vision, man. All right, and that's why you gonna perish, man. But I got that for you, all right? Time, time. But yeah, hey, like I was saying, hey, you got Edomites protesting in these different countries all all over Europe. Just this, uh, I think just this past week, they had the, the May Day protests in uh, Germany, and 93 officers had to go to the hospital because people just weren't having it anymore. And then uh, another example of that cup getting passed to these Edomites is their birth rates declining. People are starting to look at them as ultimately the problem on the face of the earth, calling them colonizers and wanting them to get out of their countries. And it's, and it's going doubly, doubly more so here in the United States of America. Again, from this article, people are seeing the U.S. as a problem. And when you think of the U.S., what's the first thing that comes to your mind? Edomites, not Jake. And like the elder brother was saying, hey, what you're seeing in these other countries, hey, it's going to come to the streets of America. That's just an appetizer for the main course. And it's especially going to be bad here with all these guns laying around. And I'm going to say this, too, to add to the brother, which if I don't know, you know, you different brothers and, you know, sisters out there in your different states, whatever. You know, uh, I know we experiencing it down here to where people are walking off the police force, man. There's no more money. There's no more money in, in the different departments. People are walking off the fire departments and various other things. Nobody's joining the army like talking about it. So what's going to happen? They're going to do a draft. All right. You know, it's going to be a wild, wild west out here, man. You know, literally out here in New Orleans, they don't have no traffic cops. If you literally call, you had an accident in the car, it's going to take you down there a day or two for a police to come. If you get your house, if your house get broken into, they're going to come not that day of, they're going to come the next day, 3 o'clock in the morning, possibly, man. That's just how real it is, all right? That's why crime is so, is so high out here, man. They're doing anything and whatever whatever they they want to do man we don't want one of the most uh top streets in the world called canal and bourbon and literally now it has, it has turned to the wild wild west every week every other day right where we bring it out at somebody i'm talking about literally foot feet away from where we bring it out at people are getting killed you know blow it away man which is a good thing it was just a good thing now we ain't arguing about that but it just shows you the mindset, the people, everybody didn't go, shit, the people have gone nuclear, man. You know how they have phases to war? The people, they ain't talking no more. People just putting an eye on each other, man. Stabbing each other. It's, it's how I show you the, the, the mindset of the people. They, people are losing it. People are losing it, man. You know, and they, and they come down here with old uh, money bag Joe come down here, talking about a, a $1.7 billion budget. For infrastructure, the infrastructure go, man. The Lord told you already he have laid the, the worm under this bitch, man, called America. It's no more bringing it back. Everything is all destitute and rotted out, man. Even the people of minds. You have given them, you have given them over time an illusion, a smoking mirror. Now they now they come to the realization, damn, this is a mirror. This is not really in front of me, man. I'm seeing doubles and shit. You know? And they're mad. Let me see. And real quick, what's it saying, Malachi? When they say they shall build, thus will I throw it down. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I mean, you, you got it. I'm gonna try to find this other scripture. You just, you just remind me of the scripture. Uh, a a judgment that come. So a uh, judgment that come, man. Is that is that that time? This is Isaiah 13, and uh, you say 17, right? Ike? Kind of, hey, we're, we're gonna close it out with that one. If any other brothers have any, any precepts, I, hey, I give me that one. Give me that one in Apocrypha. It says, The more they deck their cities, the more I will be angry with them. Oh, okay. that's what I'm looking for. I'm that's in second after 16. Yeah, I don't think I have my uh my app on here. Oh, there you go. Kind of, kind of, I got it. This is a uh, second is just 16. Go up, go, up, go up, probably like two, two verses and come down. Kind of, kind of. This is Second Esther's uh, 16 and 45. And therefore, they that labor, labor in vain. Strangely, <laughs> hey, they come out the gate with it, man. 
they that labor labor in vain. You you're trying to work these little warehouse jobs, these little bullshit jobs to try to make it. You're laboring in vain, man. You know, but you still gotta, you know, the balance of the, everything is you still gotta get your daily bread. But I'm talking about for those who are of the world, those people that are working in the world trying to get a PhD coming out of college and this shit, you laboring in vain, man. Like we say down here in New Orleans, you're climbing a burning ladder. All right. This, this place is no more. You got jigs out here trying to get different businesses, which ain't nothing wrong with that. But I'm talking about in a, in a worldly sense. They're trying to get businesses. They're trying to be the next, the next uh, B and J, next so-called power couples. All right, you're trying to be the the next uh, big top figure. This is it's all smoke and mirrors, my man. All right, go ahead. Uh, verse forty-six: For strangers shall reap their fruits and spoil their goods. Uh oh. Uh oh, go ahead. Overthrow their houses and take their children captives. This is what's gonna happen out here. People are gonna overthrow it when, when everything go mad. All right, when shit really gets get it get it popping out here or get lit. You know the new the new buzzwords for Jake. When shit get really popping out here and lit, you know people are gonna run up in your houses, man, and spoil your goods. Mm -hmm. Right, overthrow your houses. They even gonna start. You know these these different. All right, these different um, these different guys are gonna snatch your kids up, use them as ransom money, use them for ransom money. A lot of them gonna be using them as uh, like like in the movie uh, The Road, using them for meat. All right, all of all of your top uh, goons and goblins of this society, all your, your badasses of the world, they're gonna be all similar assembled in one place at one time, man. All right, all you freaks. All right, your your your, your pervert boys, your, your gen, your, uh, what do what they call them? Chris Hansen boys. They're gonna be all out running running loose, man. You see, you see how you watch the purge? Them niggas get crazy running loose. That's how gonna be running loose out here. It's gonna be many many skeletons out here, man. <laughs> mm -hmm. Many skeletons out here running loose, man. And, and and Lord gonna do that to the wicked. Lord gonna punish you. A lot of you gonna die. Your your worst fear, drowning, set on fire, being shot, all right, being ran over by a, a damn truck or something, man. Your worst fear is gonna come up on you by your how about you shot, man? All right, a lot of you gonna, a lot of you gonna, you gonna get, you gonna get the worst, the worst type of death, man. All right, go ahead, uh. Okay. The Lord about to bring that spiritual pandemic, which pan, we know pandem pandemic. A pandemonium mean all demonic. The Lord about to make it all spiritually demonic out here, man, for everybody. Oh, especially yeah. those who don't what? Who don't film, man. It's going to really be on y'all, man. And, and, with the, with? and with the children being taken captive, hey, you, you're getting a, a, little, a little teaser of that right now. Hey, you, for, for the past couple of years, there's been a lot of information coming out about a lot of young girls getting kidnapped and sold into sex trafficking, white vans randomly driving around and snatching up people, fake Uber drivers, and a lot of Eves getting snatched up, a lot of kids on the on the missing walls at Walmart getting taken and their organs taken. Hey, that's just an appetizer for the main course of Jacob's trouble when it's going to be out here in your face and not in the shadows. Yeah, man. You Jakes don't have a clue to what's finna have. It's it's finna get beyond nasty, man. All right, beyond nasty. Go ahead, Doc. Okay. Want to make that for you? Read, read uh, forty-seven again. Okay. The strangers shall reap their fruits and spoil their goods, overthrow their houses and take their children captives. For in captivity and famine they shall get children. <laughs> That's plain, man. When famine and captivity should they get children, they're gonna be snatching children up out here. You know, a lot of you women, all right? A lot of you women that don't have you know, men in the Lord and, and things of that nature, you, you won't possibly get snatched up. Hey man, a lot of you niggas gonna get snatched up, man. You know, you old metrosexuals, you you niggas that like to wear them them skinny jeans and shit, you gonna you gonna find yourself on the on the rear end, all right, <laughs> of a nigga, man. Nigga, 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 gonna be sexual. Uh, 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 what are they? Uh, uh, what's your boy name, man? Chocolate Thunder, man. You know, you gonna be a nigga named Chocolate Thunder. 
You know, go ahead. Right? Uh, verse 47. And they that occupy their merchandise with robbery, the more they deck their cities, their houses, their possessions, and their own persons, the more will I be angry with them for their sins, saith the Lord. And that's that's Babylon and the people of Babylon in a nutshell. That's 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 your uh money bag Joe right there. That's his his uh infrastructure bill. The more you deck your cities, man, the more would I be angry with you. You know, you're trying to get all this construction going on, uh fixing these roads up and shit. And we've been told you a long time ago, when you see Esau fixing the highways and roads, what is he really doing, man? He's literally making the streets and sidewalks wider so these tanks and humvees can go down the street, man. But you think they're doing construction for the city. All right? Just like, you know, um, I know about a year or two ago, it was funny that Moneybag Joe is over there at the Susan Waterboard building, but about like two years ago, FEMA took over that building, man. You know, they got some shit going on, man. They, they finna plan some, they, they finna do some, some mass killing, man. You know? But you gotta be in tune with what's going on. <coughs> you got jigs out here that don't even watch local news, man. They don't even know what the hell going on in their own goddamn city, let alone the world, man. Mm. All right. But the Lord, but the Lord said the more he will be angry with them, man. All right. God, I mean, how was how was Babylon originally gotten through rape, robbery, and murder? It was right. It was from its foundation. Its, its foundations have been rotten to the core, and that cancer has just grown to where it's consumed the whole earth. Everybody's up to game on, on the U.S. and how it gets down. It goes to these countries saying it's bringing democracy and, and women's rights. It overthrows sovereign leaders that actually held the country in order, and then it sets up faulty elections and capitalism and all these other wines that get the people drunk. And look at the look at their countries. They become many Babylons, many whorehouses with bugged out degenerates running around. Right. Yeah, you you know, you, you start seeing the more Arabs over there. They, they go to, t you know, them boys go to taking them turbans off and shit, all right? And, and start being peanut butter chasers, man. You know? You know what I'm talking about. I ain't gotta, I ain't gotta go into it. You know what I'm talking about, mm -hmm. man. Man, I, like I said, I just seen him. You know, it's, it's, it's you know it's a disgrace because it show you how you once had you once had a heritage and a tradition that holds tight to uh, godly. You know, them Arabs have a somewhat of a godly type of uh, structure about themselves. All right, but then they get over here. I didn't watch the men and the women. They come over here, any nation, man. The men and when they come over here, and they just wild out. All right, it is they got they got certain shows of uh, I forgot the name of the, the one particular show. I didn't seen it in passing. Um, but the whole family, they come from India, man. They just they just wild out, you know. The women, the women, you know, busting it down, twerking, all that shit. But if they was to go back home, what would happen? They'll get killed, man. You get the head cut off. Yeah, man. They they'll get killed, man. They get busted down in a different way. Yeah, man. But everybody wants to come to Babylon too too wild out. The people here in Babylon, they hit a wild out and party. It's all it's all about partying and bullshit. And that's what the, the, the elites do. They pump you up with drugs, partying and bullshit. And they do it again and again and again. They, they keep you blind. They keep you fat, dumbed down, and, and, and in a stupor, man. Because the bulk of these people, they, 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 they're in a stupor. They're in a goddamn coma, man. All right? The, the elites can do something right now in front of their face. And literally show them what they're doing, and they ain't gonna give they, they ain't gonna give it a damn, man. When when the next Call It B album coming out, all right. When when the next so and so are finna drop this, drop that, man. Them people don't give a damn. Hey, you know, right? that's why we out there on the block. They don't even listen to us, man. In a sense, you know. But the elect, the Lord, the Lord allows the elected to listen to us. We're not worried about everybody. That's a lot of you problem. You come out there and talk about our message, you know, and how we. uh our message is not reaching everybody. We're not worried about every goddamn body, man. All we worried about is the elect and sitting the elect so we get the hell up out of here, man. Go ahead, Doc. You got it. My bad. Hey, you, <clears throat> hey, you, what you said was a 144% truth. The elites could and are doing something in front of the people's faces. This whole situation and the love potion and people are just going along with it, hook, line, and seeker, which yeah. even... Even in the news, they're getting caught up with their their lies and deceits, but people are still going along with the okie doke. That's right, brother. They bribing, they bribing the people. 
Deception is working no more. They just bribing the people. Oh, we're gonna give you stimulus, or we're gonna give you emergency this. They just 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 holding on to what they can hold on to. That's but what that's doing is 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 fattening the, the going, the cattle. They fatten the cattle for the slaughter. You that's, why, that's why I call him money bag Joe, man. He, he you know, he you know, he got money bag yo, but that's money bag Joe. As long as the nigga giving them a stimulus check, Jake all good with him, man. Yeah. All right. That's Mr. Fourteen Hundred. You know, but you niggas don't know what, what it's doing on an on economical scale, man. You know, you you keep printing money all goddamn day over and over again. So somewhere, somehow, you yeah. know, uh, the other end is gonna bottom out, man. It's gonna blow the dollar. It's yeah. blowing it. It's gonna blow it up. That's with anything. Wish, if you keep wish. putting air in something, out, what's gonna happen? It's gonna pop. Yeah, and I wish you know, you know, we had it right here. We can show you, man. That the dollar right now is literally worth two cents. You know, I don't know if you had that, Raya. One of your brothers was talking about it. We was at camp. You that know, me. that that the dollar is literally worth two cents right now, man. All right, that's why it, it, when you go into your <coughs> different stores to buy plates of food and shit, this shit is so high for one person. For one person, some of these meals are sixteen, eighteen, twenty dollars and shit. You know, man, huh? Temperature eighty three cent. Wait, point eighty three. <laughs> Wait, yeah. hold on. Let me make sure. Was it two cent? Eighteen hundred dollar value one inflation rate. Let me let me kind of look. I gotta go through it. May first. Euro, and euro is zero point eight three. Hold on, let me find it. <clears throat> Inflation calculated. Uh, I'm trying to find. Yeah, just it, give you a, ultimately just give you a glimpse. All right, what's going on? You have these jakes. It's from these different uh, bodegas and hoods. All right, the so-called ghettos, man. You know, you you bring up to them. Do you know what the debt clock is? Jake don't know what the hell you're talking about, man. They don't know that. You know, back when I came in the truth, it was like uh, ten trillion, ten trillion uh, dollars in debt. Uh, somewhere, somewhere I might be off a couple of numbers. You know. 13 trillion or some shit. Now nah, it's over. It's over. It's past uh uh 20 something trillion, man. You can never pay that back. You know, <laughs> elite bankers can have all the money. You can never pay that back, man. That's why America's gonna default. All the different allies and the Chinas of the world that make all these different commodities, <clears throat> different plastic goods and bowls and toys and shit. You you're not gonna be able to pay them people back, man. You know, go ahead. I yeah, another sign to it. I, I posted an article earlier this morning, which you know, Bitcoin basically skyrocketing to a million dollars per per token for one day. So to show you that they they uh you know they transitioning to something else, they they killing the dollar, man, in many ways. Cryptocurrency, uh uh, China, uh Russia is on um, you know dealing with the I b believe that's the euro. The uh, euro. They, yeah, so you know, it's it's transitioning, man. They ditch Russia ditch. We put an article in up a couple of days ago. Russia ditched the U.S. dollar, man, completely. We know China was already doing it. They coming with this this digital currency have to come into effect, man. And by doing that, the the actual physical dollar got to what? It got to die. It got to crash. And it got to go about a way of being crashed. It's not gonna just be like, okay, take this. We're not using money no more. A transition after happen. You got it. And, I, I, and, I, and that transitioning, you know, just like you know, before we get out of here, the transitioning been in, been in play. All right, over here in the U.S., you got credit cards that got the black uh, barcodes, uh, the the strips on the back. The everybody else in the world and the Europe, they've been off that. They was dealing with the chips. Now America, they're dealing with the chips. All right, but now you're starting to see at certain WalMarts. All right, the, the aisles are changing. For us, they even got a store, Amazon store, where you don't even have to pay. You just walk out the damn store, they'll charge you later. All right. Even with even in Virginia right now, I believe it's I believe it's Virginia, you know, uh excuse me if I'm wrong. I believe in Virginia, they're starting to change the ATM machines to where you can literally see they have a hand on there where you can put your hand right there to scan, scan your shit, man. <laughs> about to say that. As the spirit, yeah. The all <laughs> the ATM UV identification on vaccine ATM. It's a vaccine ATM, man. So all you out there playing for the Lord and playing 
talking about we don't know what the hell we talking about with, with this with the uh the mob the mark the mark of visas all right you know i'm just saying it for uh youtube purposes but you know what i'm talking about man the chip all right you know you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna uh you're gonna see that thing right in your face you're gonna have that you know that 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 terrifying fear that feel like your heart didn't drop you're gonna you're gonna feel when you see them when you see them damn machines and everything has transitioned to a castle society your heart gonna drop man and you're gonna know that the prophet have have been amongst you man and told you so all right because you you niggas are hard-headed man <clears throat> when this man grab your ass up and bring you into one of them white rooms with the iron metal uh tables and put your hand on a, a scrap and, and give you the chip you gonna learn the hard way man all right go ahead uh Hey, I will say this too for your local Walmarts. What I have noticed, which I, I forgot to tell you, brothers, it just kind of slipped my mind. He went in there one day to uh to get something. I don't know if it was a holiday or one of these holidays, but uh. the cashiers are now transitioning to they're not there at a certain time. And you have to everybody have to go and scan their own items, man. All right. Which letting you know, you know, that's one of your what? One of your major corporations. Or stores that they deal with. The cashiers are getting off at a time now, man. You got to go manually do everything. All right? You got to go cash. Uh, you know, people are saying they going to the thing, scanning the shit, stealing and shit, man. Because they're like, ain't nobody in there. Yeah, they're massaging everything into a future yeah. norm. A future norm. That's right. Uh, norm, man. God. Hey, they got some Whole Foods stores, too, where they're talking about how you go in there. And you just wave your hand across something, and it and it does your payment. And as the elder brother was saying, they're 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 psychologically massaging you people to eventually take that mob, a a social distancing, contactless payments, the whole thing. It's ultimately leading towards that mandatory implementation of the mob. And hey, when that happens, hey, that's when the real fireworks start. That's when those nuclear missiles are going to start firing shortly thereafter to put the final kibosh. On Esau Edom's rulership, but the scripture say, "Didn't then you shall be known who are my chosen, man." All right, you know we, the Lord gonna separate the men from the boys, man. All right, no, <laughs> yeah. it is what it is, man. So be it. Kind, kind. Yeah, prepare yourself for doomsday. Kind. Yeah, we'll just uh. We'll close down that Isaiah 13, but at, we'll just start at 19 and, and read down to uh, 20. All right, this is uh, Isaiah 13 and 19. And Babylon... It's like I just said, hey, it, the, the Spirit moved the, the, the lesson towards going to the MOB, and, and uh, when that MOB is mandatorily implemented shortly thereafter, that's, that's when Isaiah 13, verse 19 to 20 is going to take place, and the poor is going to have her flesh eaten and burn with that fire, that nuclear fire. Yeah. And Babylon, the glory of kingdoms, the beauty of the Chaldees excellency shall be as when God overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah. Yahweh. Hold it. it, hold it up. And besides being known as Babylon the Great, uh, America is also known as spiritual Sodom and Egypt that pursuant to Revelation 11 verse 8. And how did the Most High overthrow ancient Sodom and Gomorrah with fire and brimstone from the sky? So he's going to overthrow this modern-day Sodom and Gomorrah with that modern fire and brimstone, those 200 million nuclear-tipped ICBMs. It says, it shall never be inhabited, neither shall it be dwelt in from generation to generation. Neither shall a Arabian pitch tent there, neither shall the shepherds make their food there. And the brother Samakia brought out a precept earlier, which tied into this in Jeremiah 50, that this was going to become a desolate, uninhabitable place. When those 200 million nuclear missiles hit this place, it's going to get turned into the biblical lake of fire from sea to shining sea. And then after that dust settles, it's going to be that uninhabitable, desolate wasteland that's going to stand as a memorial as to what a wicked kingdom looked like, how not to govern the earth and what the judgment was for afflicting the children of Israel. And you know what? It's going to be good riddance when that happens. And hey, the hopeful elect are diligently hearkening towards this day because we know when this happens, hey, the kingdom of heaven is going to be set up and it's smooth sailing from there on till eternity. You want to keep reading? Oh, no, that was it. I. 
Any yeah. brothers? Yo, y'all need a point you want to make? Nah, that was pretty much it. Oh, kind, kind. And so with this uh, lesson, we hope you sincere, Akim, are edified. And again, as always, we're going to give all praises, glory, and infinite honors to Yahweh. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who ruled and teach well. And peace and salutations to you, sincere Akim, out there, putting this word and truth and sincerity to the four corners of the globe. May your brothers endure until the end of Baba Ball. 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 Ba